What up, man? It's your boy Heater 22. And your boy Guy Tussie. We're back at it again with another fire reaction to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We're on episode 31. Last episode, we got a recap on the Ishmaelan War and everybody's involvement. Uh, learned that also Mustang was following under the tutelage of Hawkeye's father, who taught him the basics of flame alchemy. Put the remainder of his research, he uh, tatted it on her back to keep it safe. And um, also learned that while Scar is talking with Marco, he's understanding, you know, what the Israel and extermination was all about, that his people were being sacrificed for Philosopher's Stone elixirs, and Scar just went on ahead and bodied my guy, wrote in blood, in his own blood, of vengeance across the wall for Envy to see, so it was definitely a dope episode, we're looking forward to this one, but before we get into it, when the league assembles, we become a very sick team, so it's only fitting we'd recruit our homie 16, a honorary member of the League of Legends, our newest member, man, we appreciate your pledge. Appreciate your support on the stream, man. It means a lot. For sure, brother. Yes, God sir. bless. Also, be sure to hit that like button. Mm -hmm. Be sure to subscribe if you're brand new. Click for full-length reactions or early reactions. Check us out on our Patreon. Thanks. Enough for the talk. Let's jump into the sauce. Ooh, them hands are really quick. Mm -hmm. basically hired you to be his hostage will you be all right well it's all in how you look at it i guess mm -hmm. if it's close to him it just means i'll have a better chance to kill him in his sleep mm -hmm. that's one way to look at it that's terrible it's tough to even hear about ishval oh yeah she didn't hold back even though i'm practically a kid they say an alchemist is one who seeks after the truth and yet the truth hurts nothing about what happened in ishval you think the Colonel's concerned about what happens after he gets what he wants? I knew I would be if I were him, you know? Hmm. I've been so busy trying to get our bodies back that I haven't even thought about what happens next. <sighs> I guess the first thing, I'll make some courtesy calls. Let Granny and our teacher know we're all right. Yeah, all right. of course. They've both helped us out so much. Well, I found a trace of hope for us. Hmm? You know how our alchemy would work when we were under central command? Well, guess what? <laughs> it wasn't working above ground either. Huh. But what about Scar and that girl? Exactly. Right. They were the only ones who could use it. Well, if that's the case, they're doing something different. Mm -hmm. Something with their alchemy we don't know about. Yeah, which means we haven't hit a dead end yet. Oh, look for little panda in this. What the hell is that? They're a gift from me. Oh, Lift some weights. Oh, oh yeah, rehab yourself, brother. Magic. Get them gains, man. Them? <laughs> I'm trying to beat off, G. That's tough. These should keep you from slacking off while we're gone. Leaving already? Yep. Gonna eat some of that famous Western cuisine. Hold down the fort till we get back. Hey. Oh, Officer Falman. I thought you had already left for the north. I've got to return something to the colonel first. That chessboard. We really weren't in Central for very long. You're being deployed to Southern Command, right? Yes, sir. The opposite from you. It's gonna be so cold. I always <laughs> get the worst posts. Just don't get killed, sir. Sure. You must be anxious, huh? Maybe I picked the wrong person to side with after all. <laughs> Go ahead and shoot me if that's what you think. I know, right? You promised me that Talk you would. Talk so big. Turn up. Haven't gotten quite that bad. <laughs> You're too kind, Lieutenant. Well then, Colonel. See you later. That's all office empty. <laughs> Play chess by yourself, brother. My pawn. Yeah, it started off as a hobby of mine. Fury, my bishop. Yes, sir. I consider it an honor. My rook. Hello, sir. And my queen. Knight. I doubt that I'm the brightest Have guy. It, the whole squadron. To shoot. And worst of all, I'll follow you into hell if you want. Let's go, my G. Hey, have you seen this cat? I'm trying to find this the little This cat. This cat. <laughs> you wild. Looks like this. I promise it's not some weird alien. <laughs> this picture is terrible. It's terrible, right? Uh, seems like this surge is getting us nowhere. You know, they might not be in Central anymore. 
Huh? Full metal. Speaking of, you owe me some money. So oh, how about you cough we're going to find some Do you remember? Come on. How much did I borrow? 500 cents? It was 520 cents! <laughs> oh, yeah. Con me. I'm not conning you! Yeah, I'll play them I'm guys. I'm petty, brother. Like <laughs> I'm sorry, Colonel. Full metal. Hmm? Go on and keep that money for now. But you will pay me back. All right, and when that day mm. comes, I'll borrow some more change. Right. I'll pay that back when this country is a democracy. But when that day comes, I'm gonna ask to borrow even more money from you. <laughs> you are <laughs> never end a system, G. No, you get it. And you better not worry the lieutenant either. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Vanessa. You're looking well. Hands around the neck. Mm -hmm. Already. Well, good evening to you, Madam oh, Christmas. How you Big Bertha out here. I'm barely holding up at all. I was hoping you could cheer me up. You want a drink? It's probably oh. not the best idea. I just got out of the hospital. But I could use something special. Hey, madam. Mm. Oh. My pleasure. Not too bad for an old fart like me. Mm-hmm. The ladies still come a calling for my son. I want that wang, huh? Hey, <laughs> I'm what do you mean, young man? Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> Got that Viagra in my system. I go crazy, G. Uh, what do you mean? Uh, you know what a madam's calling. You Let me wish she take her teeth out. <laughs> <laughs> Bow. Hey, what do you think you're How doing? How dare you call yourself a member of the chosen clan? Please forgive me, grandfather. Mm. I'm sorry. You don't know what they're dealing with, G-Money. You monkey life. You damn fool. He hurt. Mm-hmm. Well, he grandpa, so he get to slap her around every now and then. I promised Lanfan that I would introduce her to an automail engineer. We decline. Huh? We appreciate such a kind gesture. You're the only reason that my granddaughter is still alive. You have my gratitude. What? Do I look like the kind of doctor that wants gratitude? <laughs> right. What a money edgy. Thanks, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving me. The Emperor's health is only growing worse each day. We don't have much time to find the Prince, but he must return to Xing with the means for immortality. Let's go. <sighs> right. Seek out the evil here. Remember us. We will return. Mm, there he goes. Mm. Oh yeah, he was in that world. Mm -hmm. I'll always be indebted to you for taking care of me. Thanks, Dr. Knox. Thank you for saving me. Treating me like a real doctor. What's a world coming to? Oh, dang it. Yeah, yeah. What do you want? <laughs> Both of us. <laughs> How's work going? Keeping you busy? Yeah. I'm surrounded by corpses as usual. Well, I actually spent the last few days treating some live patients. Some live patients for a change. Sure. Hey, that's what I like to hear, G. <laughs> saving lives. Hey, Dad. I... Well, I want to become a doctor. I know that you've been haunted by the things that you were ordered to do in Ishval. No right. matter what, you never gave up on helping people. Oh, yeah, he loves it. Ishval is now under our control, and all thanks to you. Well done, Major Kimbley. So tell us, how did the stone work mm. out? It's beyond amazing. It lets you bypass the equivalent exchange to harness an immense power. Oh. Shut your mouth. You know how saucy I am. I'll take your life right here. Yo. Oh. He did that. What happened? He did that. that. Bob? What's going on? Can't give me all this power and think you get it back that easily? Right. Sucker. <laughs> He's the worst. Oh, yeah. Lock me up. He done pooped it back out and holding it now? What's happening here? I don't know. On your feet, Kimberly. You've been released. Oh, come hither. It's been a while, Kimberly. Oh, envy. Envy. 
Congrats on the early release. So I take it I have you guys to thank? Yep, we could use a little extra help. I think he has. You think? Ah, uh, see? We're still sorting out hmm. all the details. Well, whose body One was that? One of the chimeras that we had watching over him has gone missing. Marco's specialty was transmuting living tissue. Mm. He might have used the chimera in his place. And if that wasn't bad enough, we think he might have escaped with an his fallen warrior known as Scar. Turn up, so that wasn't his body. Well, how about Maybe. It? Considering you were the one responsible for the extermination. After you've nabbed Marco for us, there's a certain little town we'll be asking you to wipe off the map. That's your kind of job. Oh, Marco's village that he was helping out. It's remarkable how cruel you are. It's been too long. He just throws it up, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't know if that one's going to be enough for this job. How are they gonna upgrade him? Wow. Oh. A new stone. Did you use Moorish Valens to make it? We actually used Dr. Marco's assistant. We haven't finished our conversation yet, Marco. The finesse. Tell me Tell more. Tell me everything you know about Kimberly. Also, you might be able to help me decipher some of the research notes my brother left behind. Oh research yeah, break notes. that down, brother. Before he died, my brother told me there was something strange about this country's alchemy. This note should explain why. You are apparently skilled with alchemy. Can you tell me what he meant? He said that our alchemy was strange. Quiet. <laughs> you shouldn't desire such things. Yes, evil as hell. Whoa! What? Ouch. I only destroyed the surface. You can't stop the bleeding, can't you? Wait! Oh yeah, he'll let up again, please. Travel if your face is unrecognizable. Ooh. He ain't ask him if he's cool with that operation. <laughs> None of that. Give me your face and let's rearrange it, bro. Wow. Let me get you a makeover, bro. <laughs> a little plastic this surgery. This seems fitting. Let me just <laughs> palm your face and destroy all of that. Oh, Scar is not the rude. companion you just want to rock with. You don't know what he's going to do. Yeah, man. He might just palm, palm your face. His methods are extreme, man. He's going to palm your face and give you, you a change makeover. change it up, my like guy. Plastic surgery instant. I got a doctor on hand with the I'm glad history. you're here. <laughs> heal, heal Crazy. His face. Heal his face up, please. Something told me when they showed the collar that Envy might have been like, you know, hey, bro. He got away. There was a Chimera in here, too. The Chimera was missing. That's why the collar, that's why it was suspicious to begin with. The Chimera was missing. He done, and Marco specializes in transmuting flesh. Human flesh. Right. So he turned the Chimera into a human body and then used the blood to. Then he just bodied the Chimera and, and wrote vengeance on the walls, like, we'll be back, G. But I knew Scar was gonna leave him alive. I knew it. I said, huh? need to talk you thought to him. so? Yeah. I don't know. I mean, it seemed pretty genuine to see a uh, Marco's, <laughs> you know, representation of his body just laying there with his head gone, with vengeance on. I mean, it seemed like a very Scar-esque thing to do. It did. Uh, but very Scar, Scar enjoyed uh, the conversation. Thing. He seemed repentant from the moment he saw me. Dropped down to a knee, said, "You gonna kill me? Please do, because I don't want to hurt anybody else." That's why Scar let him live. I don't know if Scar was really enjoying the conversation. He was more so yeah. pissed at, like, yeah. you really, this what y'all was doing? Y'all was sacrificing my people, you know, during this extermination to create a Philosopher's Stone? That's what y'all was doing. It was savage and cold. Give me your face, man. I thought that, you know, he might have really bodied my guy. But once they showed the collar, I was like, hold on. I couldn't remember whether or not Marco had a collar on his neck or, uh, you know, two chimeras yeah. in the room. So crazy stuff. What a twist there. Uh, then the title was a little crazy too. The five, five twenty cents promise, but um, that was the promise since Ed owed Mustang some money. You know what I'm saying? Look, I get that five twenty when you become a fury, my guy. You rude. I ain't never let you borrow Double. money again. Ever, bro? Yeah, right. And he gonna. And then when you get to the top, I'm gonna borrow money, more money from you. Yeah, for because real. I know you got that that pay raise, that pay increase for being the fury. So. <laughs> then I'm gonna hold you to to the point where you know you turn this country into a democracy. That's next on your list. When you do become furious, so you gonna you gonna see me around for a while, just get used to it. Gonna ever happen? You never paying back my money. I don't know, bro. Mustang mm -hmm. got he got good intentions, bro. He's he's got he's unwavered to have the whole squad be relocated. You know his headers, his most trusted headers, 
He's still on a prayer. Still optimistic somehow. Kind of like enjoying like it's a game of challenge. Even though the enemy's right there in your face letting you know all the details. Do you, do you honestly believe you can stop us, bro? You can't stop Childish, it. dude. Childish. I shut down your whole operation, take everybody away from you. But Mustang's got other allies now. Whoever the madam is, you know, he, he went to the to what I thought was a whorehouse or something. Yeah. The madam's got the sauce, and she's got connect, connections with everybody else. Uh, now I just hope my guy can be trusted, though. The, the, the dude with the, the old the man? old dude yeah. that he was playing chess with. The one that suggested he go talk to uh, Rivers. You know what I'm saying? She gonna, she gonna hold that cat hostage. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, if you want these buns, you gotta make this phone call and do <laughs> this right here real quick. Uh-huh. He gonna be yeah, like, oh, yeah, some, surely. As long as you take power. out the, you know, the teeth. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> hey, my guy's gonna make some moves, though, obviously. Whatever Madam does, she goes in. But now we've assembled and we've got Crimson, Kimberly. Got him back on the prowl now. He loves it. He loves uh, the thrill. He's a vicious guy. He loves the power. So he got bodied for killing the higher ups whenever they tried to, to get the Philosopher's Stone from him. He ate it, you know, swallowed it or whatever, pause, and uh, bodied everybody there, which led led him on onto death row. Mm -hmm. But hey, we got the strongest guy making the calls, on, you know, watching my back. We got Fury out there making moves, so Dang. crazy. Now you gotta find Scar and Marco. Wow, wild stuff. That's gonna be a good fight. That's gonna be a good fight, definitely. Because uh, I don't know if, if Scar don't want them problems really. But he got two stones now, a uh, stone and a half, or two half stones. Or I wonder if he's gonna keep both of them. Though, is he gonna keep the initial shard? You know what I mean? I think he's keeping both of them. Didn't see him take the other one and turn it in. I said the other stone was made with Marco's assistance. <laughs> Crazy. Just gave him more power, man. He's about to be real, a real problem. I like how you finessed the guard that was talking all that trash to him. Shake my hand, G, one last time. Pow, pow, pow. Let me throw this bomb on your wrist. Turn that watch into a ticking time bomb. He's rude. Play with his emotions. Get that to your kids, man. It's just a toy. A friendly gesture. He's so rude. Just know I can end your life at any time. Do you understand that? That could have been your life right there. I had him crying, please help me. You talking all that trash, and now you asking for help now. I mean, it was good trash to be talking. You are He's deserving of it, definitely. Yeah. It's just, hey, bro, if you ain't got the means to back up your trash talk, watch. watch what you, you have say. no choice but to watch your mouth around these hitters, bro. Unfortunately, it's just the, the rule of the game. I never shook his hand. That's scary. <laughs> no, uh-uh. Look at that thing on your head. Heck no, I'm not I touching that. I don't trust you, brother. <laughs> I've read the reports. I know what you get down with. Yeah. What you do. For real. Uh, Scar about to take Marco over to the to his, to his brother's research, though. That's going to be crazy. We need that. His right. brother's research. Definitely. To try to break down... One, why he said the, the Western alchemy is so strange. You know, Mark, that was new to Marco. He said it's strange, bro. I don't know nothing about that. Why is it so strange? But, uh, yeah, I can't believe he sizzled Marco's face like that, though, on the fly. Don't think you got an ally here, brother. I really hate your guts still for your involvement, but we could use you, so. You might know some things. Might know some things. Maybe understand all this nerdy stuff that my brother wrote down before mm -hmm. he died. And now you got Ed and Alphonse looking for, for me. Uh, Possibly Scar too, but hey, the safer bet. Let's go with May, man. She she seems like she might be a little easier to reason with, even though she's a thug in her own right. You know, she play them games. She'll book on you. She knows how to escape real quick. Yeah. But uh, we need to learn more about alka history ourselves, so we can you know be able to defend ourselves against father if we come across, which we will. Dope episode. On to the next one. Holla, at your boys. We out. Peace. Peace.